Everywhere across the country today, parents are thinking about this horrible tragedy. Back here at home, increased patrols are trying to give them some form of comfort. Meanwhile, parents, moms and dads are grappling with how to even speak or talk to their children about what has happened. NBC Force Tony Ginyark reports. Thank you. Outside Marengo Elementary, a crossing guard named Maria scrambles to protect every child passing her way. The presence of her familiar face, a comfort to students. The increased presence of police on patrol, a comfort to parents still reeling by the impact of the mass shooting in Texas. Uh, just heartbreaking. Um, brought me to, to tears. Just, I couldn't believe it's happening again. Still, they're faced with going through the motions, getting the kids to school, and perhaps talking about the shooting. I haven't had any conversations with my first grader um, only because he's still a little too young to understand what's going on. As a parent and as a teacher, we have to have age appropriate conversations. Age appropriate conversations. It's a phrase we heard a lot here outside of the elementary school, and it's one you're going to be hearing over the coming days. But what does it mean? Parents are advised to cater discussions to a children's age. Keep it simple for preschoolers and kindergartners. A one sentence story may be enough. Shield elementary age students from news coverage. The images may stick with them. With tweens, listen to their feelings. And with teenagers, expect them to look for solutions and ask what you and your teen can do together. Because there's been so much going on, it seems like it's escalating over the years, and it, it's just drawing my attention to what are our children exposed to that's causing them to be so violent. We try to protect and nurture our kids, but after so many school shootings, um, I think that we parents need some coaching and some help and support. In South Pasadena, Tony Ginyard, NBC4 News.